Okay, so to do a roller, a roller is taking the variables of the air around you so your dog doesn't have to turn and chase and find it in the sky. We're giving them a little more predictability so they learn how to run and chase and grab. And the way I do it, again, four fingers under, thumb on top, like this. And so when you go to throw a frisbee or a disc, we go like this, right? Boop, boop, boop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my wrist up in the air. I'm going to use that same mechanic. Boop, boop. And I'm going to just throw it into the ground. So I want the disc to roll away from me. So I'm up and then I let go and it rolls away. Again, up, curl into my body, and roll away. And from this side, I'm here, and I roll down. Where a lot of students go wrong is they tend to try to push. So they'll do this, and so what'll happen is, when I'm letting the disc go here, it's rolling away from me, so the spin is going here, so it's able to travel like a wheel on the ground. When students grab it here and they try to push, The spin is going in the opposite direction of the direction that you're trying to get the frisbee to go. So what ends up happening is if I try to push it, it doesn't roll very far because you're not getting the spin. So up, down, up, down. <laughs> um, so that is a really important way um, to start just kind of getting used to using your wrist, to taking your arm out of it. The other part about this is that when we go to throw a disc, I'm going to say, don't use your arm, it's all in the wrist, it's all in the wrist. That's something that you always hear when you talk about Frisbee, it's all in the wrist. Um, and invariably every student, boop, and then the disc is over there. I had a student get one stuck in a ceiling tile. Um, I do a lot of climbing in our disc classes when Frisbees and discs get stuck everywhere. So one way to start really focusing on it is just using your wrist, that snap, and rolling the disc away using a roller. So. Snap, and seeing what you can do. That was a little bit of wind. So practice rollers, practice, practice, practice. And now we're gonna talk about seeing if your dog likes it.